Welcome to episode 20 of No BS TS. Super excited to have you here. And in this one, we are going to start looking at applying our TypeScript knowledge. And in this case, we're going to be building out our React app. And in the, over the next couple of episodes, we'll be adding on how to type hooks and how to do generic components and how to do custom hooks. It's really exciting stuff. Can't wait to get into it. Let's do that right now. So I'll start off with yarn and then create and react app. We're going to create a react app. We'll call it episode 20. Yay. And then we'll go and add on that we want a template for TypeScript. So we wanted to use the template variant to construct a TypeScript version of our code. And I'll hit return. Now I'm going to fast forward this because I don't want you waiting around for my yarn to do this. So I'll just Fast forward and you can feel free to pause at this point, pick it up and uh, after yours is done. Okay, mine's done. So I'm gonna go and bring that up in VS Code by doing code episode 20. Fantastic, so let's have a look around and see what's up. So the one difference that you'll notice right away is that instead of .js files, we now have .tsx files. But other than that, there's really no differences. There's actually, there is a TS config to do our TypeScript configuration, but really, there's really no difference. When you start looking into it, there's really no, almost no difference at all. Okay, so I'm gonna go in, remove a bunch of stuff, and then we're gonna talk about how to type your components, which is pretty much right away the thing you're gonna want to do. So let's see, let's go and chop this down a little bit. There we go, okay. Now over in app.css, I'm just gonna make this a little bit easier to read. Make the font size extra, extra large. Give ourselves some margin. And give ourselves a max width of 800px. Kind of put it in the middle of the screen there. Great, okay, cool. All right, so let's say that we want a, a heading component. So I'm gonna make a new component and I'm going to call it heading. And it's going to be an H2 and say heading, just like that. All right, let's try this out. Okay, okay, so here we go. Let's uh, start this up. I'll get rid of my sidebar over there, we don't need that. Perfect, okay, great. So TypeScript really hasn't jumped at us yet, right? So in fact, actually there's no type annotation at all in here. But let's say that we wanna go and have, example, a uh, title. So we don't want a uh, heading all the time, we want heading to be a, a definable thing. So we'll say, you know, heading is uh, introduction. And right away we can see that this is complaining. It's telling us that, uh, let's see, the title string is not assignable to type intrinsic attributes, basically telling us that we haven't specified that we want a title on this. So it's doing some cool stuff, right? That's great. So the way that we do that is we could say, for example, props, right? And we'll say that it's got a title string. We know how to do that. That's, that's basic object typing that we've seen timeless times in this series. Uh, and then in here, we're just gonna do props.title. Okay, let's check, it, let's check it out, see how it goes. Oh, there you go. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Okay, so, but this is not the way that most people do this, right? We wanna destructure that, so we can just do title in here, and that's a little easier, like so. And that's perfectly fine. So, it's, it, it, but that's just syntactic sugar. It's basically exactly the same thing. So now let's have like a, a content div. So we wanna have something that's got like a box. And we want that box to contain some child elements. So for example, uh, hello there. And we gotta define box. And what we really want out of that is we want children. And we wanna put that in a div, All right? But how do we type children? Well, you could actually do children react.react react node, 
like that. And that's okay. Let's give that a try. Well, I'll show you. Let's, let's go and add a little bit of styling to this just so we can, you know, see something cool. Maybe we'll add a little bit of padding to it. And we'll make everything in there bold, you know, just so we, we know that that's actually being applied. Oh, great. Okay. Hello there is bolded. Awesome. But there's actually an easy way to do this. So you don't need to worry about that. If you do react.function component and just leave it at that. And that actually defines children as well as a return type for us automatically. And it's the right one. Okay, so let's go and create a list component that has like a UL LI type structure to it, but we want to give it a list of items. So how do we do that? Well, let's go and create a new list. And again, we'll call it a react.function component, like so. And we'll say equals like that. And we for sure want a UL in there. And then we want a list of items, right? So I have items. So how do we define items? Well, we just open up that generic and we say items is a, well, let's say a list of strings, an array of strings, just like that. And so let's go and iterate through those items. And let's also do the index. And then we'll give an li for each one of those items. And a key with the index. Okay, cool. All right, let's give it a try here. So let's do a list and then give it items where you've got an array of, I don't know, one, two and three. How about that? All right. Sounds good. Let's save that out and see how we go. Hey, got it in one. All right. <laughs> cool. So uh, this list, that's how you define the properties of the list. Let's talk about a few more in there. For example, like let's make these clickable. So I want an on click method. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'd say something along the lines of on click and let's make it optional. You know, on click question mark, so it's optional. And then what would it be if it was there? Well, it would be a function, which would take maybe the item for as an example, which is gonna be a string, and then return void. Just like that. Cool. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna go over here to on click. And that is going to give us an event. Let's see, let's do on click then and fire off the item. But it's telling us, and this is great, right? It's giving us our great type checking, and it's telling us that, uh, oops, I didn't get on click. Well, that's one thing for sure. So let's go and grab that. Okay, cool. And then, oh, cannot invoke an object, which is possibly undefined. For sure, Z's. Okay, so in order to do that, let's use the optional chaining operator, so op question mark dot. And that's gonna say, hey, if there's an on click, call it. If not, eh, I guess they don't care. So let's see. Uh, let's try this out now. Let's just save it and see. Seems to work okay, but if I click on it, zero zip zilch nada is happening. So let's go back over here to here and say on click equals. And then in this case, I'm actually going to start using some effects. So in this one, we'll call use callback. And we will go down here to app and we'll say that we want a click handler. So let's see, uh, on list click, and that's a callback. And that's gonna take an item, which is a string. And then it's going to alert that. Now, this is a an evergreen clicker. There's no dependencies on anything else. So our dependency array in this case is empty like that. And again, other than this right here, really nothing to do with TypeScript. So really, TypeScript doesn't really get in the way of us using React much at all. It just helps out. And in fact, it's a good replacement for things like prop types. Okay, so let's save that out. 
Click on that, <gasps> and away we go. Got it in one again. Woo, it's, it's my kind of day. So that was a quick run through of how to create your first TypeScript React application and how to build your components and type them properly so you get access to the children element and you can also send in uh, click handlers and all that kind of great stuff. In the next one, we're gonna take a look at how to type hooks. It's really exciting, can't wait to see you there. Of course, if you like this video, hit that like button if you really like the video. Be sure to share it with your friends and of course subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new no BSTS video arrives.